when Jesus starts his ministry, you know, the first thing he does is he goes to John the Baptist and he's baptized in the Jordan. Well, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. And I never could get my mind around why Jesus went to John to be baptized. He didn't need to be baptized. He didn't have any sins to repent of. So what is this whole thing with Jesus going into the Jordan, you know, and being baptized? Well, Torrance points out, whose sin is Jesus confessing there in the Jordan? You know, he doesn't have any sins of his own to confess, but taking our sinful, diseased, and alienated humanity upon us as our elder brother, who does it all in our place, on our behalf, and in our stead, Jesus even confesses our sins aright, because we can't even do that. So all of this wallowing in our guilt uh, and everything that we oftentimes do as Christians, we don't even do that right. We can't even repent. We don't even feel sorry for our sins in the right way. Even Jesus has to step into the Jordan. Think of it, the Son of God stepping into the Jordan, confessing all of our sins once for all in a perfect way, so that we always have to be worried. You know, did we confess it enough? You know, are we sorry enough? You know, that simply cuts the ground out from underneath it. Christ has already done that in our place, in our behalf, in our place. He invites us then to simply say, Lord, I screwed up again, but thanks be to God, you identified me with me in my brokenness. You already know it. You've already confessed it. You offer me your new life uh, once again on the basis of what you've done there in the Jordan, confessing my sins.